آزبلّہبانرحیم الحمد للہ رب العالمین وصلاۃ وسلام علیہ رسول الکریم نبی نا محمد صلی اللہ علیہ وآلہ وسلم خاتم الانبیاء بلمسلیم رب شرح علی صدری و یسر علی عمری وحل القتم السانی یفقہ قولی بریڈیئر قرآن کورس فیلوز السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ دس از ان ڈیڈ اے مومنٹ آف ہیپینیس اینڈ یو نو ایلیویشن دیٹ وی ہیو الحمد للہ آلریڈی ڈن آر مڈ کوئس اینڈ کورڈ مور دین دی ففٹی پرسینٹ آف دا کورس بیکاز وی ہیو ڈن الیون لیسنس اینڈ دا ریسٹ آف نائن لیسنس آر لیفٹ اینڈ الحمد للہ دی مینی آف یو ہیو اسکورڈ ویری ویل ان دا کوئس سو مینی مینی کانگریچولیشنس ٹو آل آف یو and uh, i i am sure inshallah uh, we will continue uh, the rest of the course with the same passion but much more better speed and much more better understanding and application um i let me today uh, th- say this that you know it was like the difficult part is done we have done the more difficult part you know now on to the easier path we were we were like it is like the the example could be it was like you know climbing over the mountain we were in the first part that was a difficult one now is the easier part we'll be climbing down now so i would suggest that you know uh, now have more active participation and uh, apply whatever we've learned in the first part you are going to get inshallah ample chances right in the first lesson so Uh, I hope you are already set for doing in more speed uh, today, inshallah, and onwards. So, we begin our class, lesson 12a, understand Al-Quran. And there was a very good suggestion, by the way, in the group by given by Brother uh, Gondal. So, maybe you can, you can do that. Lots of good practice. Practice is the key to, uh, you know, uh, is the key to excellence actually so uh, that will that will help you do really good now moving forward let's see what is there in today's uh, today inshallah we are going to learn a new surah of the quran and there is something very interesting and innovative as well the new actions we have been done doing actions here the past actions now we are going to do actions here the, you know the uh, mudari actions perfect and inshallah so new actions new words new learning new excitement inshallah and when we are learning about quran and learning the word of allah we should be more excited more happy and more uh, feel more blessed alhamdulillah so today's um, uh, lesson is I'm going to introduce to us and we will learn 13 new words which come in Quran 841 times so within an hour we will learn inshallah almost 800 plus words and today we will cross 31,000 but you're always reminded to do your homeworks and now onwards I'll be focusing more on your workbook so uh, please make sure you do better for your workbook because your workbook is going to give you ample practice so uh, you know yesterday we had a quiz for a batch and i remember the sister who used to be very um, you know uh, conscious about the workbook scored highest you know 79 marks so i'll say you know, focus more on your workbook the, the more focus on workbook will help you to better understand lots of things but do your recitation from the book from the quran and from your memory study the pdf files which are sent if now i have also sent you half of the book so sister shala shala and i think sister uh, safina were uh, happy to have it so everybody please go through it keep it in your record that's a good compiled form of the entire uh, half course uh, definitely make partners that's a wonderful idea sisters and brothers together and learn about the course and surah so let's pray to allah to give us more knowledge 
So let's come to Surah Falak. Uh, the two last surahs, Surah Falak and Surah Nas, uh, they teach us the excellent prayers to protect ourselves. Okay, and the Prophet used to call them. I mean, we call them Muawwazatain, like from Taawwuz, which is Auzubillah, in which we seek protection of Allah. So two of them together, because in both we uh, seek Allah's protection. So they are called Mu'avvaza Tan. Mu'avvaza Tan. So Ta'avvus. This, this comes from Ta'avvus. A'awzu. So Sunnah of the Prophet about these surahs is that, you know, last three surahs are recited after every salah. But thrice after Fajr and thrice after Maghrib. So it is good to, you know, follow the Sunnah of the Prophet. And then Hazrat Aisha reported in another hadith that, you know, before sleeping, the Prophet ﷺ used to blow into his hands, recite the last three surahs, and then, you know, uh, put it on his hands over his body. So this was the way of the Prophet. So everybody amongst us would like to get this protection. Uh, we should uh, make it a habit to do this. And the minimum two benefits that we get by doing so is get the protection and receive the reward for following the sunnah. And of course, we are reciting Quran that has its own benefits. So today we decided, uh, if I'm not forgetting, because different batches, different options are given. Uh, did we discuss here that one of the participants will recite or shall I play the recitation from here? Actually, yeah, I think it was a different group in which... They decided that you know one of the participants should be given a chance to recite the surah. But let me play it here. Aus billahi min shaitan rajim. Alhamdulillah. So, um, beautiful uh, recitation. Inshallah, uh, we are going to learn about this surah. But before I begin and tell you something, I would like you to tell me something. And uh, by the way, my sister uh, co-host has just informed me that the screen is not looking good. Uh, it, it is not that I... Uh, just because my background is not that good and will be disturbing for people so i have to choose this there is some issue i'll try to remove it inshallah by tomorrow's class so let's let's uh, try to as long as you can see me and the hands i think inshallah will be able to run the class um okay now as i said now today before i say something i would like you to say something and because lots of things are learned already so, who would like to tell me the meanings of kul? We have already learned the word kul. And we learned, mashallah. Safe. Very good. Very good. So, Sister Tahmina and Abdullah Saftar and Romina and Mrs. Zan and Takir Bari Sahab, Aisha Awas. Very well. Very good going. Yeah, say. Say okay, and this comes from the table and the verb kala kalu, and we reach to the say kul. And inshallah, a day will come and we will also learn this action how this kul is formed. Um, yeah, that's great, wonderful. And who would like to translate auzu? Auzu, we all know the meanings of auzu. Yeah, auzu. MashaAllah, I seek refuge. That's refuge. wonderful. Great, great going. I seek refuge. And inshallah, uh, we are soon going to learn these actions also. How the word auzu is formed. Wonderful. Who would like to break birabbi? From my rub. 
B and Rab. B and Rab. And B. Rab B. Yes. Bi Rab. Mashallah. Bi Rab B. And then is Falak is the only new word. So let me now take you to that slide. See, see the very first line expression of this surah. And Alhamdulillah, seventy-five percent of it out of four words, three of them you already know. Okay. So that's great. I mean, we have just done, you know, 10 classes. We know 75% of it ourselves. Only, you know, 25%. I mean, falak is the only new word here. So, kul se, auzu. Let's, let's now look at them. Kul se. So, you know, that, that is actually Allah's commandment to convey it in the best way to learn it to yourself and convey it to others. So, auzu, I take refuge. And we know billah, like in billah, in Allah, it is bi rabbi, in our rabb, in our Lord. Okay? So, uh, the new word for today is the daybreak. Falak, when the morning begins. Okay? The early morning dawn. So, so it, it's a beautiful expression. See? We are seeking refuge in our Lord and the Lord of the daybreak. Okay. Now we will definitely see what is the reason of saying this daybreak when the day starts. And uh, so, so you have to keep the new word falak in, in mind. Uh, in Urdu language, there is also falak with the other kaf, uh, which means sky. So, you might may make a reference with that. This falak mean daybreak. All right. So now let's see what does it mean. But, you know, since we are surrounded and we learned earlier by evil attacks day and night, including those from viruses, mischief makers and the jealous people. So the moment the day begins and especially the expression, the Lord of the daybreak is beautiful in that way is the rub of the daybreak. So, so so we have to think about the way the sun comes, the source of light, you know, its diameter, imagine, is 1.4 million kilometers, and it's like 150 million kilometers away from us. And see how beautifully Allah rotates it. And with its circumference of 40,000 kilometers, we all know it, very basic, uh, you know, uh, knowledge. So around the sun, now to, to to and brings out the day in a beautiful manner, and you know keeping that in mind, realize the 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 uh, this uh, Allah's uh, beautiful system. Uh, that when you are reciting this, how the the morning comes, how the day comes, and in the last two days, I have really enjoyed the sunset. How beautifully, I mean, in an Islamabad. When the sun was setting, it was all like orangish and looked like a beautiful thing hanging in the sky, moving down quickly. So in, in the same manner, when the sun comes out, and so Allah's uh, greatness is revealed in another way. This is one of the million billion ways of how we should realize how great Allah is. So he brings the day out from the darkness. So Allah will inshallah remove the darkness from us. That's the concept when you are reciting this. So, you know, since it begins with an word say, we sh should recite the surah as well as convey it to others with wisdom and kindness. Uh, as the Prophet did in the best possible way. So, now with this understanding and with this realization that by saying this, Inshallah, Allah will help us. Allah will remove all the evils from us right in the beginning, from the beginning of the day. So say it out. Kul a'uzu birabbil falak. Okay. Now, Next line is, I, I, once again, I would like you to do it first. Let me know the meanings of, I, I would blank the screen. So don't worry about it. Just let me know the meanings yourself. Min. Who would like Trump. to know? Yes. Very good. 
Abdurrahman, sir, very good. Sister Shazia, everybody is striking. Yeah, strong, very good. Sharri, we learned the meaning. Shar, earlier. Shar. Yeah, exactly. Evil or something which is painful. Evil. Yeah, exactly. Evil and painful things for us. Perfect. So, ma. Ma. Everybody knows the meanings of ma. Let me know the three meanings of ma. And which one is used here? What? That. No. Yeah. And yes, when it is an interject, interjection, when it is connecting with the that what? That's wonderful. Mashallah. You're all doing great. Yes, that is used here. Now, you see, uh, out of four words, three you know. That means 75% you already know. So there is one word new, but that is also not new. We have learned the fail khalaka. You remember khalaka? Who create you? He created. Khalaka, he created. Remember this? Please, uh, in fail, when we say in mazi, khalaka, khalaku, he created, they created. Khalakta. Khalaktu. You remember we did this? So this is that khalaka. But because of Arabic rule, we make the last word silent. We say min sharri ma khalak. Actually, the word is khalaka. He created. So you already know the meanings of min. From sharri, the evil. And min comes from auzubillah. So just remember the difference between man and min. I'm sure you all know very well. What are the two meanings of man? Who? Man. Yeah, one is who, exactly. And? From. Min is from. No, 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 man. I'm asking you the two meanings of man. Oh. Man as a question word. Yeah, man rabbuka, like we learned. And as in connecting words, like this one. So... So you, you remember these are very important questions we have to remember them and we have to remember to answer them in Arabic so when we say man rabbuka so we have learned rabbi Allah so man means who and we also remember ma dinuka what is your religion and we'll say dini al islam inshallah yeah so these are the different meanings now, min sharri ma khalak shar, as we said, shar is evil and it is suffering. It is some pain. Uh, it could be directly or caused by something or somebody, uh, you know. But there is something very important which we should remember. Remember, we have so many blessings of Allah. If a blessing is, which is appears to be good, but it is taking us away from Allah. It is taking us away from the teachings of Quran. Maybe it is taking us away from namaz. That becomes a shar. Okay. So we, we, have to, we have to be sensitive about it. Um, if my sleep has taken me away from, you know, the prayer in the morning. So that's, that's a shar for me. I have to be more careful and sensitive. Min sharrima khalaka. So all the evils... A ma, ma, he is not questioning ma here. It is the connecting, interjection ma. All right? We know this. Ma means what? Ma means no. Ma means that which, whatever. In that sense, it is used here. So, khalaka, he created. So, uh, now, Arabic is very interesting uh, language, you know. There are two words, especially with reference to ma. Uh, in a slang use in Arabic, foreigners can manage to live there. Those who have been living in Saudi, and I remember uh, the we have a doctor friend, family friend in Saudi. So whenever he's talking to me on phone, he's continuously saying, "Mafi, Mafi, Mafi." So <laughs> that you know, how do they use this? They say, "Fi," you know, "Fi." We already know the meanings. It is in there, meaning yes, you know. If somebody asks something, they say fee. And if they have to say, no, it's not there, so mafi, mafi. Especially when you're going to do shopping or asking for something, whether it is available or not. So fee or mafi. Ma, fee. You remember if the ma 
is you know used in a, in this manner interestingly just the expression the expression for ma uh, changes the meaning uh, especially in when you are in arabic context so mafi not and in ma we have also learned uh, as what ma binuka and khalaka i just told you it is a verb okay fail from a fall khalaka same he created so khalik is the creator makhluk is his creation now let's look at it shar has two meanings i have already told you evil and suffering some evil things appear to be good but their end is suffering therefore they are also evil so we remember anything which is taking us to evil is also evil so if, for example too much of money which takes us away from learning about quran and praying to allah and we remain busy in too much of doing business and earning without remembering our creator you know certainly becomes a shar for us so we also ask his protection from the evil of his creations to for, you know the human beings are even created to worship him but some of them hurt others we 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 ask allah to protect us from the evil of such persons like we likewise we allah's protection from the evil of all living and non living you, you see it's a beautiful expression from the lord of the daybreak imagine and then whatever is formed throughout the day you know allah has formed the day we are going to be active throughout the day and the next line makes it you know a very complete and a wholesome idea so min sharri ma khalaq say it out yourself then we'll get to the next line uh, by the way there is nothing new in this line almost 100% you all know you can break it down you know min sharri ma and khalaqa everything alhamdulillah so let's 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 now now this expression uh we should always remember that allah is creator and the star his creations we seek his help from the evil of his creations which include everything so like you remember what he created covers everything all viruses people around us the day and the night and the air and the wind and you know Uh, the green things and the mountains and oceans and rain and sun everything so now the although we have said you know everything is created by him but the next three expressions are beautiful and the next one especially i'll just say it out and we'll go into, into detail but the surah is then focusing on to three rasik nafasat and hasid these three specific evils we'll talk about them because everywhere will say women sharri ghasikin is a work of women sharri nafasati uh women sharri hasid so uh, if what is special about these three things actually all these three things when the darkness prevails uh when the when they are blowing uh, the magicians are blowing and when the uh, you know the shar of uh, the the one who envies is is taking place we cannot get to know it it's not physical something it is happening somewhere and we don't know what is happening with us so in darkness rasik by magicians nafasat and by jealous person hasid only allah can protect us there is no way otherwise okay so uh let's go and look at to at the meanings of these wa min sharr you know the meaning rasik next word is rasik rasik means darkness so this is a new word you have to write it down rasik ومن شر غاسق اذا وكبا ٹھیک ہے وكبا از اگین ا اٹ از انٹنس سو سو میننگز وین دی ڈارکنس پریویلز اٹ کمز اوور اٹ بیکمز انٹنس وكبا از ایکچولی یو مائٹ آسک 
the question that this is from the fail mazi wakaba okay why we are saying becomes intense can somebody tell me the reason why are we using the imperfect tense for it wa min sharri ghasikin iza wakaba ji any idea okay the, when there is long silence in the chat box for it to become uh, timeless okay uh -huh. well um, okay Th there is a reason i ask you this because a new rule is coming here and to remember that rule uh yeah it is happening not in the past but what is the reason what is the logical grammatical reason here actually the word iza is the reason iza so you all have to remember now this is a language rule in arabic whenever iza will come before madi fail madi okay past tense it will convert it to the mudare into the present and you know future tense imperfect tense so remember this rule remember this rule everybody okay so whenever iza will come iza this will convert the perfect tense into imperfect tense whenever it will come before the uh, perfect tense fail mazi it will convert it to fail mudare so is and is a whenever they will come it means when it means when so but it also uh, after is a if past tense comes it changes to the mudare like as a actually the wakaba means became intense as i said earlier prevailed but is a wakaba prevails or will prevail or becomes intense okay so this rule you have to remember so let's look at after you know uh, uh now see the 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 beautiful transition of the surah the day begins everything which is created we are seeking allah's protection and then we seek allah's protection when the night prevails when the night prevails and you know and you know most of the uh, strange and evil things happen uh, in the night so and that's the time you know when the devil is in full activity so and we are also free from work an empty man's brain is devil's workshop we always say so most of the evil in decent and immoral acts happen at night such as bad tv programs we are free we start watching that evil parties evil movies and other evils so the, that's why a special focus has been made on mumin sharri ghasik in izawaka we are seeking allah's protection from the darkness when it becomes intense so the the this this is the time to be very careful it is also easier for thieves and enemies to attack at night you remember in the wars even the armies would attack staying awake late is also evil because it becomes difficult to get up at the fajr time it is extremely harmful for, to the health so uh, and you know we don't begin uh, a very active and a fresh morning so so this is the idea behind this so allim and please do write uh, uh, you know this rule of iza when iza is applied the madi converts to mazi converts to mudare this is the rule okay yeah uh thank you sister my sister co-host is reminding me that they have not done it yet yeah i i remember i i was uh, i knew it very well so i ask is to make everybody more conscious that this is going to be a rule here okay so, so let's move forward and women sharrin nafathati fil uqad now here in this line we know women sharri i want to ask you nafathat what is it if i ask you is it feminine gender or is a 
masculine gender and whatever it is how do you know this anybody who would let me know this feminine because of the golta ha where is the golta i don't see it at the end no there is a oh no uh, no sorry huh? yeah yeah sorry okay it is feminine by the way many of you are writing that's perfect yeah sister tamina is very rightly written this is the plural of the feminine gender nafatha there is a golta you are right in the singular uh, in the plural alifta which is the the standing uh, fata on it so yes beautiful woman shabri nafatha this is the word nafasa theek hai to you you know to say the word nafasa nafatha fa you blew out so that will help you to remember it nafatha 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 fa also so blow out the air and you will be able to pronounce it properly and you'll also be able to remember the uh, word so nafatha uh, it is the the one who blows uh, and yes it is a feminine gender nafathat is the plural of it okay uh, and then is the word fi we already know in ukda ukda and the plural is uqad um do, do you know this word from any other reference fil uqad in the knots there there is a knot which is tied at the time of marriage nikah, marriage. nikah itself is a knot okay akdun nikah we say akad and yeah uh, yeah so akad and in urdu we also say knots also akad knot in urdu so, in urdu we say uqda yeah 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 true so wa min sharr nafasati fil uqad from the uh evil of those who do magic who do sorcery is a big test from allah if the one who is affected by magic doesn't have strong faith in allah he may start committing shirk you know thinking and going to people and trying to find out a solution in an un islamic way so this has become very common uh people are you know i mean it's it's very strange in our society we keep hearing people say you know some relatives might have done this magic on me but things like this so the reason is we are away from islam we are away from sunna we are away from very simple formulas are given we should know the uh, the surah is the best cure for all these problems this especially this ayah focuses on amin sharrin nafasati fil uqad so the uh, so 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 don't forget the daily blowing by the enemy who lives with us shaitan so when whenever we sleep as the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said shaitan ties three knots at the back of his neck here at last end of the hairs so and he recites his incantation that every knot what we do uh, need to do is after the long night so he says okay sleep and don't be able to get up actually for the fajr prayers so when we wake up and remember allah one knot is chosen when we offer ablution perform ablution the second one is loosened and if we perform prayer all three knots are open so then we have a very happy morning and a fresh morning otherwise we are always in a sluggish state to, according to the saying of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam so uh, if we stay awake late night that's there's a big chance that you start to make you sleep and miss fajr uh so yeah remember yes this is there there's a good point reminded by our sister though the word itself is the word nafasa and nafasat is a feminine thing but there is something important in it and that's why it's not mentioned in the expression in the translation uh, that the these are female magicians no this is used for all magicians male and female okay the word is itself um you know feminine but is used for both 
all type of magicians okay so maybe you would like to do it once again nafasa and nafasat by blowing out and that will help you to remember the word those who blow out those who do magic and sorcery so that will help you to and you may like to write it down as well wamin sharri hasidin is a hasad and once again you know the wamin sharri hasidin hasidin the envier and then comes is a hasada this is same hasada he envies from the fil madi hasada but we stop on the last word so we say hasad is a hasad wamin sharri hasidin is a hasad when he envies now because of once again iza this turns to a uh, mudari so wamin sharri hasidin the envier is a and is is for when remember this is and is a is used in quran a number of times hundreds of times so it means when hasada he envies uh, he envied but because of is a will will change it to mudari he envies so twice the use of is has come in this surah it is going to be there in the future surahs and i'll check back uh inshallah whether you remember or not and i'm sure inshallah you'll remember so hasada is he envied is a hasada similarly many expressions will be used is a ja'a rather than ja'a he came and we'll call it is a ja'a when it comes wakaba when it intensifies hasada when he envies the zukir allah when allah is remembered uh, so is a plus mazi is the formula we, which we have to remember let's apply it so whenever we receive something good jealous person wishes that you lose it and he gets it or at least you lose it he will try to destroy your reputation work property or hurt you so remember the difference between hasad and rushad so hasad is like uh, you know uh, when you want a thing to be lost by the other person and you know uh, so at least lost actually to be lost and uh, you know received by you uh, so pray that we no, never get jealous to anybody it is like you know of course objecting a last distribution allah gave it to somebody and we say no, 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 no i want it for myself not for him so say auzu billahi and pray for more for him and yourself pray that oh allah mashallah great you have given it to him that's that's great you give the benefits to him of it and also give it to us so inshallah you will give it you will get it so the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said beware of envy because envy you know this is very dangerous what does it do envy consumes the virtues all the virtues just as the fire consumes the firewood or he said grass i mean in hadith the, the word is probably the grass as well <clears throat> so it is very dangerous so we we will not inshallah ever envy anybody uh, will be very happy on whatever allah gives to somebody and will pray for that person and inshallah uh, yes you can pray you can ask it from allah for yourself that's perfectly all right uh uh but not being happy on somebody else getting it is not fair is against allah's will so we should keep ourselves safe from it wa min sharri hasidin is a hasad so three things have come in it three evils other than the first two lines alhamdulillah uh, with this we end to the class let's take a two minutes break inshallah and we'll come to the next uh, part and today we have something very interesting in the next part as well okay a'udhu billahi minash shaitanir rajeem bismillahir rahmanir rahim alhamdulillahi rabbil alamin assalatu wassalamu ala rasulihi alkareem nabiyyina muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam khatmul anbiya wal mursalin rabbi shrah li sadri ويسر لي امري واحل لقطه من لساني يفقه قولي السلام عليكم ورحمه الله وبركاته اا اا اتجي ويلكم باك سيستر عائشه 
she's saying i got disconnected i don't know if you have answer i answered your question uh and the answer is that alif ta we explained and we have been learning it in number of classes i think i'll be repeating that slide today as well is a sign for female plurals and a rule for gol ta is for singular uh female feminine and gender and the alif ta is the plural of it but there could be exceptions yeah we learnt in salihat mushrikat uh, mumina and muminat okay so i hope that suffices now let's move forward fil mudare today inshallah i'm very excited for this we we are starting with new actions and new fil mudare yafalu we'll do the actions here now okay inshallah today uh alhamdulillah you remember it so let's let's learn about the previous things first and then inshallah through tpi this is here sister if you were asking so uh, that's why this is being repeated repeated and repeated so that we all get it uh, you know have hold on it so ism is number 1 noun Uh, we always say there are two signs two to two is a good formula to remember it um name or attribute and how do we recognize it alif lam in the beginning or tanmeen double zamma double kasra double fata so then these are the two ways to re- to 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 recognize an s or in plural it could be alif lam or waw noon or ya noon and for a feminine it could it will be alif ta for plural gol ta is to to find out the singular okay so this is the noun in verb we know some action is happening or is being done that is verb and uh for particles haraf we have learned many of them okay they join the two verbs or two nouns so let's move forward and see in fail we have learned there are mostly most fi- most verbs in arabic are made up of three letters most not all there are many so three root letters fa'ala fataha nasara daraba have we learned about fil mudari uh, fil madi which is perfect tense some action which is already taken place in perfect tense an action which is yet to be taken place it is it going on it is not perfect so we call it imperfect and am which is imperative uh, you know an order or a request is made so we will learn that inshallah in coming classes so madi perfect that which is already done we have done this table let's repeat it today because we are going to move forward inshallah So let's repeat it. Faala. We do it here. Uh, you know, even at the lower, lower level. Try that if you could. You could see my actions properly. Okay. So yeah, yeah. This is here. Faala. Please do the actions with me. Faala. Faalu. Faalta. Okay. faaltu faaltum faalna and we learned faala if we know the meanings of faala he did we know all the meanings faalu they did this is plural okay faalta you did faaltu i did faaltum you all did faalna we all did so <laughs> my co-host my missus is actually is more concerned about the <laughs> the way i think this uh, screen might be disturbing you uh, but i i am sorry we'll try to make it better uh, tomorrow inshallah so so i hope you are all able to see the actions and at least able to it's not much of a disturbance for you so similarly we learned the uh, actions for daraba he hit daraba okay darabu they hit darabta you hit okay darabtu i hit darabtum 
you all hit and the rabna we hit okay so uh, with these actions uh, just let me know I, you are able to at least see my fingers and actions and since you already know these actions i think it won't make a difference if uh, we are just doing a little more practice so just let me know in the chat box because we have to jazakallah tafir al bari sir jazakallah sister uh, great so so because we have to do the new action so i want that we are good at this so samia we did he listen samio they listen samita you samit to i samit tum you all listen and samina we all listen so today's lesson let's move into it inshallah so we are going to learn mudare imperfect tense that which is not done yet or it is being done or will be done we all know the so we are going to bring uh, start with the same yafalu the same word faala faala you know now the action was here it was uh, you know uh, at the lower part of the body we were just yeah let me make it better yes here it was here okay so this part of the body the trunk of the body but now it is going to be almost here close to your shoulders mudare mudare still has to happen so i see the action it was mazi here at this level okay even for the female we were doing it at this level now for mudare we'll do it here up it is happening or it is going to happen remember going to happen in future going to happen so here yafalu faala changes into yafalu yafalu he does it was here faala he did yafalu he does okay so this this is i hope this is clear that this new action now is clear for you so it was yafalu here will become here yafaluna so now i am going to do all the actions here this is the change now we are not doing it here we will be doing them here so let's do with me yafalu he does yafaluna they do tafalu you do afalu i do tafaluna you all do tafaluna you all do for example it is like you are standing right in front of me and i am pointing to your you know maybe head and i am saying uh tafaluna if you are singular i am saying tafalu and you are all there so sort of i am pointing to tafaluna and nafalu nafalu theek okay? hai nafalu so uh yeah of course for simplicity we are taking he does only uh so 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 let's let's now uh, do it and also learn what change has taken place okay what change has taken place so yafalu he does yafaluna they do tafalu you do afalu i do tafaluna you all do nafalu we do now the just focus on it let me know as compared to faala faalu okay there was some rule i explained to you in mazi that the verb remains same verb remains same faala faalu faalta faaltu faaltum faalna in all these actions fa ain lam was there and change where was the change if you can recall remember and let me know where was the change yeah mashallah very good yes your sister sister tamina has said it first in the end yeah great mashallah where do you see the change now mostly where do you see the change now in the in beginning, beginning. Mash- mashallah that's it my work is done you have learnt it alhamdulillah yeah 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 great 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 very well done very well done perfect 
so that's 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 what i want you to remember we'll move forward and let's see uh, let's do the same way we do the questions hal yaf'alu hal yaf'alu similarly same way the action is done hal yaf'alu na'am yaf'alu hal yaf'aluna na'am yaf'aluna okay na'am yaf'aluna so next is hal taf'alu Nam af'alu. Remember this change. When we are in conversation, when the conversation begins, hal taf'alu, nam af'alu. Hal taf'aluna, nam naf'alu. Nam naf'alu. So, uh, now they, they, there are some small uh, changes as well, variations, which we are going to learn. See this, the same thing here, which my sister just told me. I'm so happy that rather than I explaining it to you, you all could do it yourself. Uh, see in the mazi the chain was at the end okay and we learned the example of a flying airplane which is going away and we are seeing the last tip for madi now for mudare remember a plane is coming down you know it's landing and you are seeing the front tip of it so mudare is to be recognized by seeing the front of a plane and mazi could be recognized by seeing the last tail end of the uh, plane meanings tail end of the word fail verb now this today if if uh, you are able to remember this this is a great achievement so mazis madi uh, uh, afal are to be recognized from the last tail end okay if when you say that see the tail end and you see their ta so you'll say okay this is for you and you see the two Okay, for me, tum, na, fa'alat, it is, uh, uh, you know, uh, silent, so fa'alat, it is female. So, similarly, yaf'alu, now beginning we have to see, ya, okay, ya is used, yaf'alu, ya is for singular, ya is also for plural, yaf'aluna, but there is a na at the end, that is plural, yaf'alu, yaf'aluna. Taf'alu. Ta is for you. Taf'alu. Af'alu. I. So remember I. Me. Af'alu. Taf'aluna. Taf'alu is for two, but taf'aluna is plural. And naf'alu is like na. We have always remembered nahnu, na, all begins with noon. So naf'alu. Taf'alu. Even for female is taf'alu. Hiya taf'alu actually. This I'll explain you sometimes else. Not to confuse at this point. So, Alhamdulillah. So, two sets today. Very easy to do. Same sound, same way as we did for fa'ala yaf'alu. We'll say ja'ala yaj'alu. Okay? Okay. Sister Atiya is saying that she is finding it difficult to understand. Sister, please do the actions with me for ja'ala. And inshallah, gradually we will understand. We need to give it some time. Okay? So, Ja'ala, we said Ja'ala, he did, he made, okay. Yaj'alu, he makes, he will make, okay. Now, see something interesting. You only once remember the meanings, Ja'ala, he made. Now, Yaj'alu, it is only we are changing to Mudare, you know, the actions, once you have learnt it. So, it automatically changes to he makes, okay. Uh, similarly, yaj'alu, uh, yaj'aluna, they make, they make, taj'alu, you make, aj'alu, I make, taj'aluna, you all make, naj'alu, it is not, what we have to remember here is, it is naj'alu, not naj'aluna, in case of plural, naj'alu, okay? We make. So there's a very good example we learnt Nabudu. Okay, Nabudu. We didn't we did not say Nabuduna. Nabu Duna is no word. So uh, the, the even the table for that is Abada Yakbudu. Yakbudu Yakbuduna. We could do that, but let's practice this set here. Uh, so similarly Fataha. From Fataha, the Fataha, 
he opened we will make it yaftahu he opens yaftahuna they open taftahu you open aftahu i open taftahuna you all open naftahu i uh, we open okay let's do it again yaftahu first it changed from fataha to yaftahu okay yaftahu please pronounce them properly and with the all the you know these uh, signs on them on them so let's look at the table so yafalu changes to yajalu yafalu yafaluna this is how the changes has taken place this is the table of yajalu we just did uh uh, by the way, you could also like to remember this uh, Yasser or Yasiruna, Tafik, Ana. Uh, it is being done with the Tafik of Ana, I may, Tafikuna, Nahtum, Sabki. So you may like to make your own reference as well. <clears throat> so Yaj'alu, he makes. Yaj'aluna, they make. Taj'alu, you make. Aj'alu, I make. Taj'aluna, you all make. Naj'alu, we make. On the same pattern is the, uh, and then Arabic, uh, you know, discussion you can do. Fataha yaftahu is the part of your homework. Um, sorry, the time is already up. So that's your homework. You will practice it. Let's look at quickly on the learning tip. Whenever Allah referred to the creation of man, the hearing sense is mentioned first in Quran. So see, sama, listening comes first. Uh, so, and there are examples a blind person can become a scholar, but a dumb person cannot. You can listen to a radio without picture. We enjoy doing that, but can't watch a TV without sound. That looks like, you know, terrible. So this ear, hearing sense, is a great gift of Allah and a great way of learning, great source of learning. Uh, you know, in the, so uh, and there are incidences. I'm sure you also keep listening. You know, somebody who was singing songs and all that was unable to say that at the time of death. So better is to listen to what is good. Uh, best is to listen to the learning of Quran. So the assignment, listening to the word for word translation, of course, is very important. Um, so I'll once again suggest you, uh, we, we, I can share if somebody is interesting because that's a little heavy file. Word for word, one hour, uh, you're recording, audio recording, and you can listen to it while you are doing walk or you are anywhere. So you can listen to it and you can uh, do your lots of uh, revision through this. So listening is very important. Listen to the recitation as well. Listen. That's why we also say when you recite, say it out loud, loud enough that you're able to listen to yourself because listening is important. Even when you are memorizing Quran, doing hefs, so it is good to listen, uh, to speak loud enough to listen to yourself. So that is also recommended as a formula. With this, we come to the end of the class. So, inshallah, you'll also become teacher. We pray to Allah that Allah help us to recite, understand, ponder, implement, propagate, and memorize the Quran. Subhanakallahumma wa bihamdika. Nashadu la ilaha illa anta nastaghfiruka wa natubu ilaik. Uh, inshallah, we will meet again in the, uh, tomorrow's class. And I am going to ask you whether you are able to uh, break down and translate this uh, uh, this supplication or invocation for the meeting. This, this we, we always say, Subhanakallahumma wa bihamdika, nashadu la ilaha illa anta nastaghfiruka wa natubu ilayk. I think all of you must be able to do that. So we'll have a short test, self-evaluation, inshallah, uh, for tomorrow's class.